Alright, so this is uh, Konyana here, and I'm commentating with Salve. What's up? Alright, and this is uh, Cloud, Talk Cloud versus Holy Shit. So, w what is this information on these players? Uh, Holy Shit is the top uh, Korean player on iCup. I think he still is. Uh, he's been the top player, I think, for a few seasons now. Yeah, and uh, we see that uh, Cloud is here in uh, as the Protoss. And uh, what are your thoughts on him? He's a he's one of the top foreigners. Uh, Todd's a really good. Uh, Todd Cloud's a really good player. Uh, the only thing I'm curious about actually is I think that holy shit is a Terran player, but he's playing Zerg. Oh, so holy shit will probably have a little bit of a handicap. Right, it might be easier for Todd Cloud. Yeah. And you can see this is on the map Longinus, and uh, it's a friendly game, and everything's standard so far. Cloud's probably going for a, a fast expansion. Yeah, either fast expansion or could be double gateway. Yeah, that's one of those strategies that are really annoying on this map. But uh, right here, this scouting probe for Cloud has entered the base for holy shit, so... He already knows the position and everything. He's going to be able to uh, build accordingly to what he sees. Right, and you see the forge going up, so it is going to be a fast expansion. Yeah. Um, what do you think about the double gas? Uh, like, what are your thoughts about this map? Because there's just uh, the double gas, and um, the really easy to take mineral only for the Zerg. And t Cloud's doing a really good job harassing that drone over here. Right, the only problem for PBZ on this map is, as you know, there are three Expos with double gas. I think one's at the top right, one's at the middle left, one at the bottom right. And the only thing is, you have your main gas, natural gas, and if you can get that double gas as Zerg, that's four gas, which is enough to go ultralang, defiler, get upgrades, you know, hive, all that. So it's hard for the Zerg, I mean for the Protoss in that regard, but in, at the same point it's hard for the Zerg only because they can get a lot of Archons if the Protoss gets a hold of one of those. Yeah, four gas seems to be the magical number for the Zerg, and um, Cloud's still doing a good harassment here. He's able to do a 14 Nexus because he didn't see a spawning pool very quickly. So at, he's just doing a really good job here preventing that expansion from going up. Yeah, he's a really good late game player. Yeah, uh, and right now he's just, holy shit, it's just, uh, he's still not been able to make that hatchery, and uh, he's trying to kill off this probe, trying to move it away, and that hatchery, oh, it almost went up, but it didn't go up, and another pylon scott going up. Yeah, I would think that maybe he would have built his third hatchery, his first hatchery that you see at the third base, he maybe would have built it at the double gas, but I guess he decided not to. Yeah, and uh, this is a really... You know, he's not doing very good right here for, uh, holy shit, he forgot an overlord, um, and you can see he had a lot of surplus because he wasn't able to put down that hatchery, and Gateway is now going up for Cloud. Right, I would put Tot Cloud in the lead right now, he's able, he was able to make his Nexus, and it looks like the Gateway before he even had to make cannons. Yeah, and those cannons are just pretty much a safety precaution just in case something strange happens and uh... holy shit is now making his extractor, his overlord is still pretty late um... he just used that extractor because it would take down one supply right, it doesn't look like cloud's going to be able to keep his scout probe alive, it doesn't have much health left and it looks like he's pretty adamant about killing it with the zerglings yep and cybernetic score going up for uh, cloud and he's just playing really well this game so far and four hatcheries up for holy shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what what counter he's going to do. He knows that he has the four hatcheries, so usually four hatchery doesn't mean Mulisk. And also, because he had that late uh, natural, because he took his third base first, then he took his natural, and even the first uh, hatchery that spawned in isn't near the gas. You wouldn't think that he'd be going Mulisk. You'd think that the uh, that his gas over there at the natural would be too late. So it's probably going to be some sort of Hydra build, or maybe just mass lings into Hive. Yeah, the lair is going up now, and a really big problem I see here for Holy Shit, um, he's getting Overlords pretty late, most Zergs get their Overlord at 23 or 24 supply, but he decided to get it at 
uh, about 25 supply, but it doesn't really matter that much because his other hatchery did go up, so he did get another supply. Yeah, this, this might be on account of that. He, I think he's a Terran player, so this might actually be because of that, and he's not really used to the timings. Yeah, and right now, plus one going up for uh, Cloud, and there's no evolution chamber in response to this. Um, so what do you think is going to happen? Do you think it's, uh, do you think, uh, holy shit needs to, uh, get his evolution chamber up right now? He's still not gone to Hydro Den, and he has a lot of idle drones, so it looks like he will be going mutas, actually. Right, well, he hasn't added his natural gas yet, although it looks, oh, no, I thought he was going to add it right there. Uh, he does have the four hatcheries, though, so in regards to maybe a speed zeal attack, which it doesn't look like he's going to be doing, but if he was, I, it doesn't look like, no, it doesn't look like holy shit knew that anyway, but if he was going um, some sort of speed zeal attack, it looks, because of because of so many uh, hatcheries, it looks like he'd be able to get enough circlings out. Yeah. Oh, and I actually did miss the Hydra's Den. It has gone up. Uh, it was researching Lurker, but it was just cancelled about quarter of the way through. You probably saw that Corsair coming out, and uh, Cloud's making more than one Corsair, so he will be trying. He will be trying to take a little bit of map control with these Corsairs. Yeah, and you see the Spire going up in the main, so he has seen the Den, and he has seen the Spire. So it's most likely going to be a Lurker contain. Only that I don't see, I don't see the Hydralis Den upgrading Lurkers right now. So I'm not sure exactly what he's doing. Yeah, he did cancel it, so it's a bit confusing. I think um, it's pretty nice because it will probably con uh, he will be able to use those Scourge um, to take down those Corsairs fairly easily, and then be able to use those to take out um, observers. And the plus one is just about to finish for Cloud, so he's deciding not to engage these uh, Zerglings for now. Yeah, that's right. Also, um, you can see that Overlord speed is being upgraded, so I'd assume that he's going to be doing some sort of lurker contain, but he hasn't upgraded anything at his den, and he also has quite a few hydralists, so I'm not sure what he's doing. Yeah, and if you look right now, he has fairly bad macro. He's got he was just about around a thousand surplus, and uh, now he's back down to 700. He forgot overlords again. He's constantly forgetting overlords and losing them to these two corsairs, which now have a total of four overlord kills. So that's going to be crucial. Right, but well you can see him taking that double gas, so if he can secure that, uh, this might turn the tide, although Cloud has taken his double gas as well, he's building it at the middle left, and he has a few cannons up, so he should be safe. Yeah, it's really hard to break a ramp with uh, a ton of cannons over there, until you get some better units, um, defiler, or drop, or any units that can take a lot of damage. Right, uh, you can also see that Lurker is being upgraded at the den, and also two evolution chambers are coming up so I'm not sure if any Corsairs have seen the evolution chambers but usually when double evolution chambers are thrown up at the same time that usually means lurkers I think uh, this is still not very good uh, he is getting up another hatchery because he does not realize his macro is not that good right now but um, by the time he gets plus one carapace Cloud is already going to have plus two attack you can see he's already upgrading it so it's going to be really crucial because those zealots will be able to two hit those zerglings yeah, uh, Cloud's going to have the advantage with uh, that kind of micro, Zealot versus uh, Zergling, for almost the entire game until he can get plus three. Yeah, and uh, a small group of Zealots coming down, they're going to be able to kill off this hatchery, which just finished morphing, and, um, you know, holy shit, really does not want to lose that right now. Right, his uh, Lurker upgrade just finished, so I'm looking to see if he's maybe going to turn those Hydras into Lurkers, but I don't see it, and also... Because he has that third base already, I don't know if it's really even that good of an idea. But he is morphing them, and that hatchery looks like it will go down. Yeah, and even more hatcheries going up, and the hive is actually starting as well. Um, so he will be going for uh, Ultra Link fairly early. He probably was expecting he'd have that four gases by the time he got Ultra Ultraless Den, but um, now that his expansion's gone, uh, he may have to adjust his play a little bit. Right, you can see that um, Holy Shit doesn't seem to be really concerned about middle left. I'm not even sure if he scouted that yet. He might have probably sent a Zirkling or an Overlord over there, but he doesn't seem to be concerned with, with anything right now besides just, you know, massing up a bit and 
taking some exos. Yeah. Um, he is taking another uh, second guess, but he really, bad move there, he just let that zealot sneak in. Um, that zealot can see everything now, and, um, you know, holy shit, just, you know, he just told all of his secret secrets to that one zealot. Right. Uh, also, you can see he's throwing up two more hatcheries in his natural. That's going to make for a lot of hatcheries, which means you're going to be able to pump out a lot of units. 